Hi everybody. Oh, you guessed it. It's our last Freaky Friday. And today we're gonna close out uh, our month of Fridays with something sweet and a little scary. Okay, I couldn't cook or take myself seriously with that mask. So we're gonna change it up and finish it off with one more headband since I've pulled out all my headbands uh, this month. So we're gonna do something called broken glass cupcakes. Um, I have all the prep set up here and I made the cupcakes already and I have the icing ready. These are box homemade red velvet cupcakes which came out a little lopsided but it's okay, it works with our theme. And the icing is Duncan and Hines cream cheese ice cream. You wanna be an overachiever? Make your own cupcakes and icing. I didn't have time for that. So to make the uh, broken glass, we're gonna make hard sugar. Um, you can bake the cupcakes the day before, you have the icing, the sugar's gonna take some time, so we're gonna get that on now while we start the other um, dessert we're making. So it's a cup of sugar to around a half a cup of water. You don't need to go crazy. The sugar's just gonna help, the water's just gonna help the sugar melt, um, and it's gonna go low. Please be careful doing anything with sugar. Make sure the handles are in and there's no kids around because I even showed you last time we were doing caramel sauce and I burned my hand. It's really honestly not even a joke how badly you can get hurt with the sugar. So we have the sugar just adding the water. I'm gonna give it a little stir and I'm gonna put it on low. This is gonna happen kind of fast. You gotta keep an eye on it. And we're not making a caramel sauce so I don't need the sugar. I mean you can use a candy thermometer if you want or sugar, you know. I kind of just eyeball it when it starts to change color is when I know to take it off. Um, and I already have my clean sheet pan ready to go to pour it on. I'm gonna get some hot hands so that no one gets hurt and get this bubbling. While our sugar's on, uh, we're gonna do our other dessert and it is gonna be Bloody Fingers. Um, a Pinterest thing that I took, it is sugar cookies. We're gonna use pretzels as the bones, strawberry jelly for our blood, little cocoa and almonds for fingernails. So we're gonna get this going. So for the cookies, um, we're gonna use sugar cookie. You can make your own batter if you'd like, cookie dough. Um, I bought the store, Pillsbury, and it's better and easier to work with if you let it come to room 10. So we're just gonna cut a piece like this, and we're gonna roll it, just a little too much, around like this. So we wanna pat it out, and kind of make it the length of a finger. And actually, that dough was probably needed. We're gonna make it a little longer and the length of a finger. Then we're gonna take our strawberry jelly, put some down the middle like that, and a stick. Then we're gonna push the stick in and pinch this closed. So we want to just wipe up the jelly there on the end, and we're gonna make it look like a finger. You wanna kind of give it two little knuckles. It doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, my pan is sprayed. Put it back here so you guys can see. So it's gonna be a finger, and then we're gonna take the almond and put it on the top for our finger nail. Let me show you a better angle. So as you can see, and I love like that the reason the sugar cookie gives you a little grittiness because look at your hand, you have like indentations and stuff. We're gonna mark it up with a knife at the end, but trying to give it so that it's the fingernail with two little knuckles and a rough end. So there's our finger. Over here, our sugar is going. This is the part you have to be very careful with. I know it just looks like probably boiling water, but it's probably up to 300 degrees. So I just took the spoon and kind of moved the bottom of it. It's still a little bit uh, granulated, so we're gonna give it around 30 more seconds just to finish so there's no chunks in it, no crystals, and we're gonna put it right on this sheet pan. Now I put this on the bottom for countertop, it doesn't need it, don't worry about it. You're gonna pour on the sugar, give it around a minute, and we're gonna move it around, and then we're gonna put it in the freezer so it gets nice and hard. Okay, so our sugar's done, we're gonna shut off the flame. Very carefully, we're gonna pour this right onto the sheet pan. And we're gonna put it in the freezer so that it forms. It's gonna be like a sheet of glass. Good. Okay, so we're taking the sugar cookie, we're gonna hold it up like this, making it an indent so we can fit a little bit of the blood. Kind of 
pushing it down. And then our boom. It's gonna go there. So then we're gonna seal this up. Get the extra jelly off. Spray sheet pan. And now we're gonna make it look like a finger. Put it on there. Make sure it's sealed. And put our fingernail. So I put all my fingers mm -hmm. over here. You're gonna take a knife, and we're just gonna give a couple like cuts, like where your knuckles would be. This is gonna be because at the end, I'm gonna take um, a little bit of cocoa powder so we dust them so they look dirty because we're gonna make them bloody, and you want it to like fall into the grooves in the, in the cookies. So just taking your knife, nicely pressing it along here. Let the oven at 350, and they're gonna go in the oven. We're gonna ice our cupcakes. You can do any kind of cupcakes you want, but since we're doing like broken glass and we're gonna make fake blood to drip over it, I thought red velvet was a great choice. Um, normally we're doing nice cupcakes, we'll get a piping bag out and make them pretty. But I want these to be kind of scary and gooey, so I'm using a butter knife and we're just gonna slap on a nice thick layer like this of icing on the top. Um, you can use white icing if you want, but to be more realistic and go with this, be more aesthetically pleasing, let me just say. I went with cream cheese icing because it has like a little bit of a yellow tint to it. So we're gonna ice our cupcakes and put them over here so we can start making our blood. I went back and forth. There's about like a million ways that you can make fake blood for desserts. Uh, I'm gonna do two different types. One type on the cookies, which I like, this is gonna be more tasty. It's good English. Uh, and the other one is gonna be for the cupcakes. So, corn syrup, just put it in the bowl. Nice and thick. What we want to do is we're going to add some cornstarch to it and we're going to start to stir it to get that nice consistency. And then we're going to add a little bit of food dye in it to make it red. But this is going to get it that kind of here we go, ready look. We want it to be able to run, so we're going to add a little bit of water to it as well. Um, but as you know, corn syrup is super sweet. Uh, the red dye, you're only drizzling this on. I'm gonna add a little bit of water just so that it gets pliable. And then we'll add the food dye. And the dye, you wanna make it like dark blood, so go heavy with your red dye. So once the cornstarch and the uh, corn syrup is all added together, it's gonna be this like milky white color and nice and even. You're gonna put your blood drops in. And you really want to go heavy because if not, it's just going to be like a pale pink. Um, some people add a little bit, some of the videos I watched, some people add a little bit of blue to give it more of a realistic um, look. I think if you just use a lot of red, it'll be just fine. Okay, so our fingers came out of the oven. I'm not going to lie. YouTube made it look really easy. And I did think about that the cookies were going to expand. But they actually expanded a little bit more than I thought. So over here I have a little bit of cocoa powder. And I'm gonna dust the fingers so they look a little dirty. Right on top, there we go. And then we're gonna put our blood on it. So just a little cocoa. And I did unsweetened cocoa powder because it's already a sugar cookie. Okay, for our second type of blood, the first one we did um, the cornstarch. So this one, I thought jelly, like why can't we just use jelly? So I am taking a little bit of strawberry jelly in a pan. I'm gonna heat it just so it's a little bit more pliable. And now remember, the jelly's inside the cookie, so you're gonna bite in and feel the pretzel, which is the bone, and you'll have jelly in there. But then we wanna put a little on the outside for like aesthetics, and we're gonna do it on a cool little platter. So I'm gonna heat the jelly up just so it's a little bit softer, and I'm gonna drizzle it on top of the fingers. Do not want to walk away when doing this because you'll burn the jelly and take seconds. But you just kind of want it so it's to this kind of consistency. And you can always just put it back on the heat when you need to. Uh, we're going to drizzle it over the fingers right now and we're going to dip our ends in them so they have like bloody knuckles because they were cut off. So we're putting some blood around the knuckles and um, what you want to do is you want to take the cookie and you want to dip the end of it so that they're jelly dipped on the side. And then we can take this. 
Uh, if you want a little bit brighter red, you can definitely do it with um, some extra food dye. So we're gonna dip all the cookies. So I love this when I saw it, but you can do this for like the party on the table, get a cutting board, wooden board. I took some of the food coloring, hand printed it, wrote help, and I'm actually using the jelly in the bowl, like a bowl of blood, and I have my cookies in there. And then all you have to do is take it out, which is a sugar cookie and strawberry jelly. Really good. And kind of creepy because there's pretzel in there. You can feel like it's a bone. Like, I love it. Good morning. Um, please do not get jealous of this hotness right here. Um, so last night you watched me on our Freaky Friday make our red velvet cupcakes with a blood. So the best way to do it and make it look the most natural is taking a butter knife and we're gonna go underneath and crack sugar so that it breaks up in pieces, which I need two hands to do this. It's gonna break up in pieces and then we're gonna wedge it into our cupcakes and drizzle it with the blood. So the pieces are like this and what we're gonna do is stick them. You only wanna do this right before you serve it um, because they do get soggy. And then we drizzle it. A little bit of blood. So our sugar standing on the outside, which becomes transparent, and you see that it's called broken glass cupcakes with the blood dripped all over it. How great is that? And like I said, you don't want them to get soggy, so you do this before they go out. Who says you can't have sweets for breakfast? I love that it's the red velvet. Um. I hope you guys liked our Freaky Fridays. I hope you guys enjoyed our Freaky Fridays. We loved doing them. Um, it was cute and fun. I don't know what we're gonna do for November now, but happy Halloween.